And now for a video that is sure as hell not going to be monetized. Hey everyone, PJ here. And recently, Kazakhstan just passed a new law where if you're a child predator, then... And I'm not making that up. I found an article that reads, Kazakhstan will now surgically remove pedophiles' genitals under new draft law after complaints that chemical castration was not harsh enough. Basically, Kazakhstan's government was punishing child predators with something called chemical castration. However, people began complaining that that wasn't deterring predators, so they decided to switch to a traditional castration. An executive secretary whose name I'm not even going to try to pronounce had this to say. Unfortunately, sex crimes against children are happening more often. By letting rapists go free, we allow them to re-offend. Personally, I think child predators deserve to be necklaced, but I guess cutting off their wieners works too. And honestly, we need this law here in the US, especially since our justice system seems to insist on protecting predators rather than treating them like the scum that they are. What had happened was that a five-year-old girl, whose name I'm also not even going to try to pronounce, was lured into a house by a child predator who proceeded to murder her. Her killer had other convictions as well. The secretary claimed that predators are still dangerous after chemical castration since the medicine they use for this procedure is very easy to remove from the body. Hell, the doctors even said that the effects can be neutralized by alcohol, essentially making the whole procedure a huge waste of time. Eventually, the government of Kazakhstan agreed to do surgical castration. Offenders were shown on TV all over Kazakhstan telling of their anguish. Here's what they had to say. I know it's harmful to my body. I know it will affect my health in the future. Another said, Now I am sorry I committed such a crime. Yeah, you should be sorry. Of course, this has been met with some controversy, with some people saying it's a human rights violation. Which, in any other circumstance, I would agree with you there, but in this instance, I want you to take a good look at the people you're defending, and then tell me if it's really worth it. And yeah, I know female predators also exist, so this only fixes part of the problem, but it's a step in the right direction at least. And that's where I'm gonna leave off. But what do you think? I strongly encourage you to do your own research on this topic and come to your own conclusion. I've left a link to the article in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. And as always, my name is PJ, and I'm gonna go get ice cream. You ain't never gonna slow me down, cause I feel alive now.